Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new and today we are doing a kind of different video. Um, I asked you guys to ask me comments on the community tab and a bunch of you guys did so thank you for that. But while I answer the questions, just to keep it sims related, I thought that we could do a speed build as well. And not just any speed build, oh no, I did the solid color build challenge. And I picked orange. I really like orange, so I wore my orange beanie um, to keep the theme going. Uh, so yeah, it's a speed build, so that's just gonna be playing and I'll be answering your questions over the speed builds. I have to say this challenge was very, very hard. Uh, I'm not a fantastic shell builder. Like I know how to furnish homes, but when it comes to building them, I'm pretty bad. So I kind of just forwarded through and it just starts with a shell. But um, I actually kind of like how it turned out. I was surprised because uh, when I first started, I was like, this is going to be the worst build I've ever seen in my life. But I actually like it. I hope you guys like it too. Let's get into this video. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down and answer the most liked questions because that's what I said that I would do on the post. So the first one that's popping up is by Amber R. She says, who's your most disliked sim you've ever created and who's your all-time favorite? This is such a good question. Um, most disliked sim. That is really hard because I feel like so attached to all of them, you know what I mean? It's crazy, like I think about it and I don't dislike any of them. Like, I feel like they're all my children, so... I can't really answer that. And who's my all-time favorite? Uh... Ren, obviously. <laughs> How predictable can I be? Um... This question's by Kenzie Violet. Sorry if I butchered that. But she has a list of generic questions. If you could... If you could be anywhere in the world after self-isolation ends, where would it be? Uh... Anywhere in the world. Probably New York. I really liked New York a lot and I really want to go back. What's your dream job? Uh, my dream job has been to work for Disney for a while, like doing graphic design for them or um, really anything uh, with the company. I think that would be so cool. Or, ha or something to do with animals. I think that would be nice. What's your favorite breed of dog? Um, a Basset Hound, I think. Uh, I really like Basset Hounds. I really like Shiba Inus. I think they're super cute. See, it's like one of those questions where it's so hard to pick just one because they're all amazing. Okay, Tuva Soyland says, if you weren't stuck in quarantine right now, where would you wish to go? <laughs> I already answered that in New York City. Um, this question is by Cookies and Sims. Hello, beautiful. I'm not sure if you've talked about this, but I don't think so since I've watched every single one of your videos. I'm Anna, I'm 20 years old from Portugal. Your surname is Campos, isn't is it? Is actually, it's a common surname in Portugal. That's cool. Um, but since it can also be Hispanic and your boyfriend's surname certainly seems to be so, I started wondering about your heritage. Could you tell us a little more about that and perhaps how you met Carlos if it's related? Love you and your cheery personality. I love you too. You brighten my quarantine days. <laughs> um... Let's see, let me specify a little bit. I'm asking about where you were born and raised and if there's a country you ha you have family in that you visit and where you met Carlos along the way. Okay, so um, my last name is uh, Mexican. My grandpa was born in Mexico, so um, we all have his last name. Um, but while we're on this topic, because I think a lot of people are wondering my dad is black, my mom is white and Mexican, so my grandparents uh, are <laughs> like 100% Mexican and like white as white as you can get. So I'm like all kinds of things. And then um, as far as Carlos goes, we were the same exact age, we're only a day apart and we lived at, born and raised in the same town in California. So, uh, and it were <laughs> the town that we're from is really small, so it's kind of hard not to know everyone in the town. So, you know, we've known each other a little bit and then we just started talking uh, over the internet. 
you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, uh, next question by Sainina. You guys have some hard names to pronounce. I'm real sorry. She says, hey Sims, have my question is, how did you learn to edit? Any tips you're willing to share for filming and editing LPs? I already said this on IG, but I love both your channels. I can't vibe with many YouTubers who film LPs, but I'm always looking forward for new content from you. Keep shining. Thank you so much. Like this, hearing stuff like that just makes me so happy. You have no idea. Um, but how did I learn to edit? So since I'm a graphic design major, I am around computers a lot. I have another YouTube channel where I do vlogs and like I used to do beauty videos and stuff like that. So I kind of taught myself how to edit. Uh, I think it was like four years ago when I started that channel. I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit, by the way. <clears throat> and I just like taught myself through uh, watching YouTube videos and just practicing. So <laughs> yeah, YouTube, lots of YouTube. Whenever I didn't know how to do something, I would just type it into Google or YouTube and someone else would teach me. So I think that's cool. Um, any tips you're willing to share for filming and editing? Uh, yeah, so when you're filming, like I film for like two to two and a half hours and I only, um, the video only comes out to be an hour or less. So there's like a lot of downtime in between uh, things that I say. So don't try to like, don't try to like talk through the whole thing. Talk when you need to talk and then just edit out all the quiet parts, edit out all the parts that don't matter just to keep it more interesting and just like it keeps the flow of the video going if that makes sense because <laughs> a lot of people don't like just like boring blank like long periods of silence they want to see like progression in the story um and it's like that's something you have to get used to when i first started i was terrible like i had no idea what to say i had no idea what to do and my videos were like super boring but once you forget about like what people are gonna think or forget or stop thinking too hard about what you want to say and you just like play you just like talk you just be yourself like no one's watching and no one's gonna watch after this like your videos are gonna turn out so much better i just like ramble half the time i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> um, <laughs> but i'm just being me and that's why it's so much fun and i'm glad that you guys enjoy that that was a good question um, let's see, Gabby Fisher, what are you going to college for? Graphic design. Um, Bryony Hendry says, when did you start playing Sims and why did you decide to start a YouTube? Also, would you recommend Sims on a Lenovo laptop as it costs 30 pounds and I don't know what to do? Uh, I started playing Sims when the first game came out. I don't know when that was, but I've been playing it since it came out. So... <laughs> years ago uh why did i start a youtube so i had my other channel and then i started i was playing sims 4 and i needed to know how to do something so i went on youtube like i always do and i found this whole community of people that do let's plays builds and i was like this is freaking amazing and i got so much inspiration and so much joy watching other people do it i was like i want to do this I have the means, I have a camera, I have editing, I'm gonna do this. So I did it <laughs> and it was the best decision I ever made. And would I recommend Sims on a laptop that costs 30, I think that's pounds or euros, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> probably not. Uh, you need to have a computer that has like decent specs because uh, yeah, there's a lot that goes into this game, especially when you start getting expansion packs and um, and CC and all that kind of stuff. Okay, Lucy Grantley says, who do you look up to the most on YouTube? Doesn't have to be a Sims YouTuber. Who gave you the motivation to start your channel and how old were you when you realized this is what you wanted to do? So who do I look up to the most? Um... I don't, well, the, the, the main person that got me into filming my videos is Deligracy. I think that her videos are always such good quality and she's like a boss builder. So I would probably say I look up to her the most in the Sims community. Um, but as far as like other videos, I don't know. 
I don't know. There's this YouTuber, her name's Sophia Chang. I don't know if you guys watch her, but she's the one that inspired me to start my other channel and my aunt, but um, she was like the main person that I watched. So I was like, this is Ty, I wanna do this. Check her out if you're into like vlogs and stuff. Um, what was the other part of the question? How old were you when you realized this is what you wanted to do? It's, I mean, I only started my Sims channel a year ago, so... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It, I just never expected this. Like, I, it's just a hobby for me. Uh, Pas Pastel Gotcha says, Do you have any other challenges in mind to do when one of the ones you're doing right now ends? And if so, can you tell us which ones? Yeah, so I want to do Not So Berry really, really bad. So I'm going to do that one. And then I also want to do um, the Disney Princess Challenge and uh, honestly, I want to try all of the Sims 4 challenges at least once. So I'm probably going to do every single one. In what order? I'm not 100% sure. Rabia Pei says, do you want children? And would you name them Ren and Max like in your Legacy Challenge? Or were those just names, random names you like? That's a good question. Um, at the moment, I don't want children. Like, if someone were to hand me a baby, I would be like, I don't know what to do with this. So, um, I don't feel like I have that mother motherly instinct right now, but I might in a few years. I don't know. But, um, as far as the names go, I would absolutely name my children Ren and Max. Like, they're great names. Some of my favorite names, so probably. And, uh, Carlos' dad is name dad's name is max so i like the idea of like passing down names from generation to generation okay uh kirsten greg says once you get to gen 10 in your legacy challenge will you stop the challenge or would you carry it on for longer so that we can continue to see all the amazing sims in your series Ooh, that's a good question i don't know i feel like it needs to end at some point so i'll probably end it Mm, I don't know though. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> I might do like spin-offs. Like if there's like other challenges that I want to do, I might like take Sims from the Legacy Challenge and do the do it with them, that type of stuff. But I'm not sure. I guess we'll see when we get there. Uh Snom the Assassin says, What is your favorite song, book, movie, TV show, breed of dog or cat, your favorite school subject, animal, plant, and favorite sim from each series? Whoa! Um, I don't have a favorite song. That's so hard to choose book don't have a favorite book don't have a favorite movie because it's too hard for me to choose see i just i can't i can't choose my favorite school subject art <laughs> my favorite animal mm, that's tough i just love animals so freaking much it's so hard to choose plant um i like fiddle leaf figs i think they're beautiful house plants um favorite sim from each series that's a good question so Legacy Challenge, Ren, Rags to Riches, I mean Lilo, there haven't been that many <laughs> Sims in that series. Uh, 100 Baby Challenge, I think Daisy and Dexter were, were my favorite, they're just so cool. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, Mystical Motherhood. Uh, hmm. I really like Dr. Evil. I just think it's so funny that he's a doctor and he's evil. Um, like all the kids though, they're so awesome. I just like them all the same. So it's hard to pick. It's just hard to pick. Julia Liedke? Liedke? What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Spanish, for sure. Definitely Spanish. Uh, Chloe Truss, what do you play The Sims on and why did you stop playing on Mac? Also, I really love your videos. I'm a recent subscriber, but I binge watch all your LPs. I just finished Legacy and I'm starting to watch your BitLife Controls My Sim series. Your videos are the only thing keeping me alive during this quarantine. I hope you see this comment and always remember how awesome you are. Thanks, Chloe. That's really sweet. Uh, so I play a, The Sims now on a gaming PC. I stopped playing on my Mac because Macs, they're not really meant for gaming, really. Um, I have Macs for my graphic design stuff because that is a good computer to have for that type of thing. So I, when I started doing this YouTube thing more often and seriously, I asked my friend who builds PCs to build me a gaming PC for streaming that I will eventually do and for all the CC that I have so it'll run it smoothly. So that's why I switched. Uh, okay, let's see. What is your natural language? Oh, sorry. Cheska me 
Piado says, what is your natural language? I'm a huge fan of yours, by the way. Thank you. Uh, English is my natural language. Uh, let's see here. Baking with Alea Hone says, what is your dream job? And after college, would you continue on YouTube? Love you, you're amazing. I love you too. Uh, like I said, my dream job is to work for Disney one day. And after college, will I continue YouTube? Absolutely, for sure. I'm never gonna stop, I don't think. <laughs> Um, M. Myrie? Myrie? Says, how tall are you? You seem short. <laughs> I'm not short. I'm actually really tall for a girl. Well, I guess. I'm 5'7". I feel like I'm tall for a girl. I'm taller than a lot of girls uh, that I hang out with or see. And it was tough, like, being the tall girl growing up. Like, that's not fun. But now it doesn't bother me anymore. I like being tall. Um... Let's see what else we got. Lexi says, would you ever do a separate LP with some of your favorite Sims from one of your series? Yeah, I would really like to do that. Some of you guys were suggesting doing a spin-off with Alice in University. I thought that would be kind of cool, but the only issue with that is um, with the legacy rules, you can't play any other family besides the legacy family in that save file. So <sighs> I would have to wait until it's over. And I guess we could since she's a vampire. It's not like she's gonna die. Um, okay, this is a good question. Kalani B. Kaloni? Kaloni? Kalani B. says, I don't know if this is going to come off as disrespectful, and if it does, I don't mean t in it in that way, but why do you always wear wigs? I've noticed in almost all your videos that you do, and your natural hair is so beautiful. Thank you. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why I wear them. Um, so my natural hair it's super delicate and i can't bleach it i can't dye it and it's something that i've always wanted um just because i like to switch up my look and i think it's fun so this is like a damage free way that i can do it and i think it's it's enough that's like a huge thing as well as like it's fun i like to change the aesthetic of my videos um I don't know, I just think it's cool. That's like the main reason why is because it's fun. And another main reason is because um, sometimes I'm just too lazy to do my hair. So I just <laughs> slap a wig on and I'm ready to film. It just makes things so much easier. But um, yeah, I love my hair. <clears throat> uh, Jay Lee K says, can we meet Simba and Carlos? Yes, eventually they're at a different house right now, but I promise you guys will meet them soon. Joanna Warren, what have you been doing to pass the time during quarantine? I've been playing tons of Sims and eating a lot. <laughs> That's a mood. Love you, Sav. I love you too. So I've been um, playing Animal Crossing, doing homework, attending Zoom meetings, all that kind of stuff. It's like the end of the semester right now, so um, it's hectic. And I have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of tests, but I'm getting through it. Aw, Sierra Buzz, not a question, but just wanted to say thank you. Between COVID, breaking up with my boyfriend, moving out and having my car broken into, your videos have become my friends. I feel a little less alone in my empty house. I get so excited when you upload and have seen all of your videos at least twice. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry that you're going through a tough time. I hope things get better soon. I'm sending you all my love and all my good vibes, um, but thanks for such a sweet comment. Fiona G, would you consider playing some Animal Crossing on your channel? I think it suits you in your universe. I would love to. Let me know if you guys want me to uh, upload some Animal Crossing videos, because I totally would. Um, I've been wanting to do an island tour, so you guys can see it. I answered a question similar to this in my last Q&A. Um, it's by Mallory. She says, have you told your friends and relatives about YouTube or is it a secret? Is it embarrassing to say that you're playing The Sims or would they think it's cool slash funny? Also, when did you start your channel? I've been watching you for quite some time now and I'm really happy that your channel has grown so much. You seem like a person I gen genuinely like to be around and I wish we were friends. I hope you're doing well. Lots of love from France. That's very, very sweet. I wish we could be friends too. Um... Have I told my family and friends about YouTube? Yeah, absolutely, I have. And they're all super happy for me. They think it's really, really cool. And no, I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed at all. I've been playing Sims my whole life and it's just like a part of me. So it's like, it's hard to be embarrassed of something that is a part of you. Like, if you like it, then you like it. And uh, if people think that's lame, then like, I've said this in my last video, you don't like, those people don't deserve to be in your life because if you like Sims, then that says something about you, doesn't it? And if they think that's lame, then they don't like you in a sense. So you just, 
you just gotta like forget what other people think <laughs> and the people who accept you for who you are those are the ones that you want to keep around Okay, I think uh, we're coming to the end here. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you liked the build. I hope you like the house. <laughs> I know it's very orange, but that is the point of this challenge. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. I might use some of these questions in a future video maybe. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos, like me just answering questions <clears throat> over a speed build um, instead of me just talking about whatever or music. Let me know. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.